What is up folks? Before we jump into today's video, go and check out the Indira Dad collection on the Bronx.co.za. We have Indira Dad t-shirts, Indira Dad tumblers, flask, cups and cans. With Father's Day coming up, you deserve to treat yourself so you can pretend that it's from the missus or your ungrateful kids. We have loads of other products available as well. Everything from our own MX jerseys, winter wear, caps, shirts, pit viper shades and spark plug holders. That is B-R-O-N-K-S co.za the website link is in the description of this video if you want to support the channel and get something tangible in return this is a great way for you to do that got holes in your pockets no worries you can support the channel for free by hitting the subscribe button liking this video or dropping a comment down below tell me what you think of the merch on the bronx.co.za let's jump into today's video all righty folks what is up so we are out here at Wild West again. I know we were already in the previous video, but uh, I've got Dean out here. He decided, to join, he decided to join us again for a ride. And uh, this is, Wild West is the perfect place to kind of cut your teeth uh, on technical terrain. It's a great place for training, very repeatable loop. And uh, today we've got the MotoPro RF250 and the KO KT250 out here. So we're going to be chopping and changing between the bikes, but my main focus is going to be on the RF250. If you're not familiar with this bike, this is the entry level budget option that we have avail available at Mud and Dust Moto. So it features all the modern suspension, a modern chassis with an old school air cooled motor power wise it does not make the most power but it does not mean it's a slow dirt bike in an experienced rider's hands you can pin this thing pretty much everywhere and it's super controllable nice and light for what it is and uh, it's just a great basic bike for you to train on to train people on if you're a less experienced rider to kind of cut your teeth without uh, having a bike that wants to rip your arms off or if you're just looking for something to cruise around on the farm super fuel efficient it's got a three and a half liter tank and you get about 90 kilometers on a tank we have kitted it out with all of the essential protection parts and um look this bike has taken a beating uh we've got it serviced we've got a fr fresh clutch pack and clutch cable in it because the clutch cable got roasted we had to weld up the silencer because the silencer took a couple of shots and cracked eventually but we've got it back in pristine condition and now we're just going to beat on it some more the goal today is well apart from training dean um it's just to spin laps on this bike and just kind of prove once again that you don't need the best thing on earth to do the job this retails for 46,500 Rand on our showroom floor. Uh, it comes with a six month limited warranty and finance is available. So if you wanna, you know, cut your teeth and get into the sport, this is a great bike to start off with. So Dean, we're gonna start off with some basic training drills just to get warmed up. Okay, good. And then we're gonna hit the trails um, and we'll get some cool third person shots exactly. throughout the trails as we go and with the skills training. So what's, what's your expectation for the day? A lot of falling, uh, a lot of struggling, but at least I have a good coach, so that's and a bonus. And a lot of learning. And a lot of learning, such is true. Yeah, you're gonna leave today with uh, a lot better skill, skill set. set. Yes. There you yeah. go. And I mean, Dean's already a, a super capable rider for someone that rides like two or three times a year. When focused. Every single time he takes the input that we give him and he applies it almost immediately and he somehow retains it then after six months he just rides better and better and better running some uh, training drills some figure eights with dean helping the balance and clutch control starting off wide just getting a feel for it you know you don't need to be expert level just do it and you'll get a feel for it and you'll uh, Eventually, you'll be able to go full lock to lock. Front break. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yes. Great. 
great attempt from Dean. Uh, he's catching it on very quickly. It's something that you just have to practice constantly and you'll get a feel for the balance and the throttle and the clutch control. But for a first attempt, as always, very good. I'm gonna try it on the RF. Um, the RF still has its steering stops in, so the turning radius is gonna be much wider, but it doesn't make a difference. And that's basically the gist of it uh take 10 15 minutes before your ride do some figure eights practice your balance practice your clutch control so practicing uh, just getting the front wheel up as with anything you gotta start with the basics just to get the kind of the action together of being on throttle popping the clutch and uh, pulling the bike up when the suspension rebounds it takes a while to get the timing right so you just got to practice 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 as soon as you have that timing down then you can start doing the pivot turn where you flip the bike to the sides very good very good i'm not the best with pivot turns uh it's also something that i don't focus on enough zane is like the pivot turn king he can control the bike in the turn i just kind of like send it but uh, yeah, it's just about the timing of getting the rebound of the suspension and the drop of the clutch and the throttle. You gotta just get all that down. So if you can't do a pivot from side to side, just try on a straight line to pick up the front wheel. You can attempt the turns later on. And that's the that's the basic idea so when you're in a tight spot on the trails you can flip the bike around easily and yeah just practice 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 you're gonna have arm pump it's gonna be ridiculous but practice a bit take a break practice a bit and yeah do it before or after the ride and that's it let's uh let's go hit the trails we're nearing the end of our first lap uh i'm parked up there well, we'll film some more on the second lap, but here's this uh, nice little step up. Let me jump down to get some perspective. So you actually come down the trail here, and then you hook a right, and then you got to go up all this junk here, and then there's a couple of small steps. Nothing too serious. Uh, yeah. Dean is uh, learning the commitment level that he needs to um, be on to hit this thing, and he's going to show us how it's done. While we were riding, Dean had a couple of crashes and he actually injured his thumb uh, to the point where he could not really uh, comfortably and safely ride anymore. Uh, fortunately, uh, his thumb was not broken and he has recovered since, uh, but we could not get any more third person shots on the trail. Uh, because obviously we had to ride to different spots to film and Dean couldn't ride. I also uh, caused a little bit of an incident uh, that you'll see in this video. Um, that's probably going to piss quite a few people off, but uh, I was definitely in the wrong. But I'll uh, release another video where I kind of go through it and do a breakdown of my... Uh, frame of mind in that situation uh, kind of as i look back at it um, i was definitely in the wrong uh, i pushed 
the guy a little bit too hard, but in my mind, I was just riding his base. I should have known better, but anyways.
out your way, yeah? No, sorry, man. Just ride I'm your pace. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Good boy. Thank you. <sighs> <sighs>